Good night, Miss Channing. Good night. I'm worried about you, pal. <laughs> Why? I'm fine. No, you're not. Except for the time you spend with Michael. You're either moping around in that vineyard, or you're stuck inside here with your nose in a book. So what should I be doing? Giving Melissa nightmares like I said I would? <laughs> no, but it's what I would have expected. Look, Angie, if you've retired from the fight ring, that's just fine with me. I just want to be sure you haven't retired from life. Oh, don't be silly. I hate what this battle over Falcon Crest has done to you. To you and Melissa both. I mean, she's, she's always been a handful. But these days, I mean, she's as nice as pie one minute, and she's a wildcat the next. Every time I try and talk to her and patch things up, there's a fight. Well, she's never had a very stable personality. I know. That's why I'm worried about her. I really dislike what she's done, but she's my niece. She's the only family I got left. She's the only family you say you've got left. Why don't you stop this hypocrisy and finally admit you have a son and you know what a mess you made out of that? Now, Frank, forget about Melissa and start to build some kind of a relationship with Nick. That's my advice. What the hell are you doing in this deal, Cesar? I told you that this year I wanted to start with a Zinfandel. No, we agreed we'd start with a Chardonnay You're not getting old. paid to argue with no, me. I'm only trying to explain. How we... Mrs. Channing used to do it? Well, I don't give a damn. I am so sick and tired of everyone throwing that woman up to me. Ma'am, no need to get excited. How's it going, Cesar? You look upset? What's the problem? The problem is that nobody around here seems to understand who's running this place now. You're fired, Cesar. Well, hey. You heard me, as of now. If that's how you want it, ma'am. He's been here 35 years. Are you out of your mind? Where are you going to find a manager as good as Cesar this time of the year? He's been giving me nothing but problems for weeks. And why are you here? Did Angela send you to spy on me? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I came to talk to you. What's gotten into you? If there's one thing I thought you knew how to do was run a vineyard. And if there's one thing I thought you'd do was be loyal to your own flesh and blood. Well, I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Why don't you just stay away from me? You know, see that taken pretty well. Better than I am. I could wring Melissa's neck. Well, you're gonna have to stand in line. <laughs> The manager of the two oaks quit. Uh -huh. I'll talk to the owners, and if that doesn't help, then maybe Lance can put him on his payroll for a while. That's good. Melissa's timing stinks, too. His daughter just came home. What? Well, Pilar ran away when she was 16. I mean, Cesar didn't say why, but if she's back, that must mean that she and her father have worked out their problems. Now, don't be an old fool. Angie, you know damn well I tried. Over and over, I tried to patch things up with Nick. He is your son. He is your only child. So try again. Don't you have enough problems of your own to worry about, Angie? None that I can think of. Lance has hired a lawyer to file an appeal against Melissa. A lawyer called me. You know... I think Melissa has done me a great favor. What do you mean by that? May I join you? Oh, Peter. Uh, Peter Stavros. I'm Frank O'Grady. How are you? How do you do? I was just going to tell Frank about your suggestion. What suggestion is that? Well, Peter suggested that when he goes back to Greece, that I should go with him. To live? You think I can't survive without this valley in Falcon Crest? Of course you could. Never. A couple of weeks ago, I would have agreed with you. But now I think I can. I certainly think I can. I <laughs> think she's going to do it? Once Miss Channing makes up her mind. Yeah, I know. Not even the devil himself could make her change it. Unless she wants him to. There's something, you know. If she does go, it might not be a bad thing for Lance. There comes a time when every child must learn to stand on his own. You got any kids, Charlie? Two. 
I have a daughter in Beijing and a son in Hong Kong. I have a son. I'm not sure where he is. Find out what Angela's up to. Well, how do you want me to help you? What do you expect me to do? Make up a family legend. How you've always heard that Falcon Crest really belonged to the Agretis. Well, it doesn't make sense. If there was a legend, everybody would know about it. Especially Angela Channing. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be on my side. You're supposed to care about me. I do care about you. I couldn't care more if you were my own daughter. You don't even care about your own son. Why should I believe that you care about me? What do you know about Nick? Only that the subject is taboo. <laughs> you must have been one hell of a rotten father, Uncle Frank. That's a cheap shot. Where'd you learn to play so dirty, Melissa? From the best, Angela Channing. I gotta go. Or teeny bone dry. At the vineyards, there are only two fields that are really badly damaged. But Melissa hired a brand new crew and they're doing fine. So Angie, lay off for a while. Lay off? She's hired an architect. She's gonna tear the whole building down. Come on, Angie, ease up. You see, mentally, I don't think Melissa can handle the situation. I anymore. want Falcon Crest back before it's too late. We'll call off the hearing just for now. Get but the court to cancel the... I have the to have another look at that deed. Yeah. Now, we don't have to go to court if you feel so strongly about it. We could have an informal meeting with our attorneys and, and us. Fine. Well, all right, let's go. Come on. The style is pretty good, I must admit that. But both the ink and the paper are of a sort not even manufactured until the mid-1950s. So, in your expert opinion, this document does not date from the 19th century? Absolutely not. Angela's expert should pay them off. Let's just listen to what they have to say. Ms. Martin, would you please give us your expert opinion? Mr. Harris is right. These marks here are a very crude attempt to make the document appear older than it actually is. That's a lie! She paid these people off, and you know it! It's a credit. You're not helping yourself, you know. Am I supposed to just sit here like a good little girl and take it? Perhaps we should hear from our expert now. Uh, Mr. Singer, you testified this deed was genuine. I know, but... Uh... You're changing your opinion? Miss Agretti has certified that this document is that same deed. Yes, but I have to agree with my colleagues. Maybe there was a slip-up somewhere. There wasn't any kind of a slip-up! That deed is genuine and you know it! Oh, my God. She got to you, too, didn't she? How did you do it, Angela? Oh, come on. Tell us. So we all can know how clever you are. Melissa, you can't fight expert opinions. Now, why don't you sign Falcon Crest back over to me, and we can avoid a very long trial? You always win. You always get everything, don't you? There isn't enough in this whole wide world to satisfy you. Well, you're not going to get Falcon Crest, do you hear me? Hey, bullet, hey, hey! Ah. Ah. No. I hate you! I hate all of you! I'll never give you Falcon Crest, you'll never get it back! Never! Shut up! You do that again, and it'll be the last thing you do. <laughs> Looking for you up at the house. In fact, I've been looking all over for you. You all right? I've lost Lance. I'm going to lose Falcon Crest. 
I might as well just give it to Angela. Look out there. That's all yours. That's a gritty land. They can't take that away from you. It's not Falcon Crest. I don't care what a hundred experts say. That deed is real. Let it go, Melissa. You've got your own land. Make your own name. Forget about Falcon Crest. She told you to say it, didn't she? Of course not. Oh, yes, she did. Damn it, I'm telling you the truth. Why don't you get away for a while? Take a little trip. Isn't there some place in the whole world that you've always wanted to go? Oh, sure. Get me out of town. It'll make things a lot easier for Angela, won't it? I'm not siding against you, Melissa. I'm concerned about you. Maybe you should go back to the clinic. They helped you the last time. Franco, talk to her. She'll listen to you, get her committed and declared incompetent, and then we can get Falcon Crest and the Agretti Lands, and Melissa won't have anything left. That's what she said, isn't it? Oh, my God, Melissa. That's what she said. I know it. You know, you've got to listen to me. No! You mean listen to Angela? Well, I won't, and nobody can make me. You tell her. I'll find some way. You know, there's one thing I can't stand as a thief, and Melissa is a thief. Now, that deed is a fake, and she knows I can prove it. But she didn't know it was a fake, and neither did you. Give it time. That's exactly what we don't have. The vineyards are destroyed. Angie, I can't put any more pressure on her. You get her to rehire Cesar. I want those vines healthy when I get them back. Miss Channing, Miss Channing, a, a woman just called. Falcon Crest is on fire. Get your hands right on up the driveway. Straight out now. Get him off. Hey! You got a good thing on the crest, Gage. Yeah, three and a half. I'll get your toes out. Got a loop in it. Pilar, where's Lance? He's in the house. Melissa was in there alone. Well, how did he know she was in there? Angie, I've got to find out about her. Charlie, look after Mrs. Channing. We're going to pass the landing. The staircase was out. Is anybody in there? <laughs> Good hands, man. 